This portion of the video is a collaboration with Bedshare. They are a brand that focuses on cozy bedding. On their website, they have a huge variety of bedding essentials. Today, I'll be sharing their waffle weave comforter set, two sheet sets, and their plush faux fur blanket. Keep watching to see how I update my home using the Bedshare pieces. This khaki set is a king size, but I'll be showcasing it on my son's bed because my bed isn't here yet. This set has a luxurious feel and it's made from high quality cotton with 300 thread count sateen weave. It is also ultra breathable, providing you with a cozy and dry night's sleep throughout the year for all seasons. It's tailored for all mattresses. It has a 16 inch deep pocket, ensuring a smooth and secure fit. For the second layer, I'm adding their waffle weave comforter. I'm a comforter girl, but they do have the waffle weave option in a duvet and a quilt set as well. This comforter is extra cozy and looks absolutely gorgeous. It's so fluffy and extremely soft. I've been sleeping with this set for about a week now and I am highly impressed. It's so comfortable. Oh my God, it's so comfortable. And I have been sleeping so good at night. I also got the sheet set in a gray color for my son and this is a queen size and it fit perfect and looks so good on his bed. Last up, and it is my favorite piece, this blanket just gives all the fall cozy vibes. I'm a tall girl, and this blanket is so oversized, giving me all the warmth and coziness for fall. It has a thick and soft texture, and it looks so elegant and just so well with my space. It just adds so much coziness to my couch. I will link and list all of the products down below if you are interested. Thank you, Bedshare, for collaborating with me on today's video. a whole lot of noise. They are of course cutting the grass and they are trimming up the sides and getting all the weeds out and stuff that has grown over. I would like to start planting some flowers and stuff, but I don't know. I gotta do some research because I don't know nothing about um, yard stuff and flowers and plants and bushes and all of that stuff. So I need to do some research before I start. Yesterday's video did so good. Um, I appreciate y'all. I received some more gifts too last night. So I appreciate y'all. I appreciate y'all so much. Now I got a lot of questions about, not even questions, just tips or what you would have done or what you would do like when it comes to the fireplace, the couch placement, all of that. Y'all, I know what I did. <laughs> I did it this way on purpose. Like I made it this way for a reason. I I wouldn't, I. it's like, couple do y'all use the bathroom, buddy? And then like, I feel like y'all got me like rethinking my decision. And I'm not saying that I don't appreciate the feedback and all of that stuff, but I did it this way because I don't like the aesthetic of the fireplace. And I plan to revamp the fireplace. I plan to change up the fireplace. Now, I've been trying to find like inspiration on how I want it. That is what I'm struggling on, trying to find something to give somebody else to show them what I want. I know I, I said I wanted like some shelves over there, but I cannot find the inspiration. Like it's, it's very hard. Now I'm not giving up, but I can't find the inspiration that I need. So what I'm thinking now, I think I'm going to try to pull that part of this fireplace down. Kobe, I'm gonna try myself and I'll probably ask my sister or my aunt or somebody to help me pull that fire piece, fireplace off, change it out, change up some things. I did reach out to Home Depot, so hopefully they can send me over like a contractor. 
a contractor or something to help me out with the fireplace. And then once, maybe once I get the fireplace how I want the fireplace, cause I want, Kobe walk around y'all and he got me stressed cause I don't want him to pee on my floor. He is so nosy trying to see what these people doing outside. But anyway, I want it flat. I know I want that. I don't want anything bulging out. I want it flat. So that's why I have to pull that piece off. But I'm trying to figure out if I want to pull the piece off or do I want to get some professionals to do renovate the whole fireplace. So we're going to see. But anyways, once I get the fireplace looking like I want it to look, we are in Georgia, so I'm trying to figure out, do I really need the fireplace? I know we're not gonna use the fireplace, but I'm thinking like the aesthetic of it, so maybe we could go for like an electric fireplace. And that would be a vibe. So instead of removing the whole fireplace, I could add the electric fireplace to replace the one that I have. So that way I'm not getting rid of it. And when that happens, I don't know when, then I could remove the TV off of the wall, which is really not that big of a deal. It is, but it isn't. It could be something worse, you know? So have them um, remove this off of the wall and then install it over there above the fireplace. So then we can turn the couch back around. But until that happens, I did not want to, because I did. I was so up and down on what I wanted to do, but I for sure knew I was going to change this fireplace. So I did not want to install the TV on the wall or the fireplace because I knew I was gonna have a lot going on with changing the fireplace. So that's another reason why I did it this way as well. So once I get this to how I want it, we will probably more than likely move the TV over the fireplace, but because another one of my concerns is the TV being too big for the little space that's up there. So once all of that stuff is the way I want it, we'll move the TV over there. But until then, it will be over here. So I was going to get like a console to go underneath it. Now I'll probably put that on pause since, uh, you know, I'm thinking about putting the TV back over here. So I'm just gonna take a break, take my time, figure things out before I purchase any more furniture for the living room. Um, and as far as like curtains, curtain rods, all of that stuff, I'm still trying to figure out the space. I'm still trying to figure out the space, figure out how I want the house and yeah. So I don't want to rush too much stuff. Um, I have a few friends that have purchased homes and a lot of the stuff that they did when they first moved into the home, they don't want it no more. So I'm trying to take their advice, take my time. I got all the time in the world to change some things. And yeah, we just gonna take our time, y'all. We're gonna take our time, figure it out, and go from there. Also, kind of hard to get a good angle, but I do want to add in a nook dining area right there on this wall. I don't plan to remove the, what is it, the window? As you can see, this is a very, very, very large space. The island is over there, which is cool. I did get my other bar stool yesterday, so I'll probably be putting that together. But the space is so big, you can, I could even put a table right here, but I don't want to put it right in the way. So what I'll probably end up doing is adding in a bar area a nook area back here. So I have been looking at the dining benches and then the bench will go, it's getting louder and louder. The bench will go back here and then I'll probably get a small, not a small table, but a round table and then add two chairs right here. So, yeah. And then for the island, I got my other bar stool I have to put together. I did get these two bar stools for the sides. Um, they are all right. I didn't clean up after the CSA breakfast, but it's just something that can just be changed. You know, just something, something light for the kids and just move the chairs in and out or whatever. I didn't go all out for these. <laughs> they will do. And they look really good with those chairs too. They're supposed to be black, 
black on black. Honestly, they look good, but the man that I had assembled them, he had to like adjust a whole bunch of things to make it work because they were wobbly and stuff. So I would not recommend those being because of what the quality just, and it's Amazon too. So that's why I kind of don't really like to deal with Amazon like that, especially if I don't know the brand that I'm getting the furniture from. So yeah, these are actually okay. Would I recommend these? Yes. I do like the quality of these. The quality is really good. Um, those, I mean, it's fine. And I'm pretty sure all of them are different. Just like some have like a little issue on it and some don't, but yeah. Hey y'all, so it's the next day. I went to a few stores and I'm going to share a shopping haul with y'all. But I need to set up my tripod and stuff, but I'll be right. I just got home, I went to Hobby Lobby, I went to Lowe's, got them in the dang car. My um, paint samples. Um, hopefully we can get started on painting Travis Jr's room. But um, I got some stuff for his room. It's not organized, as you can see, I haven't even taken the stuff out of the bags. But let me start with Target. Oh, I went to Target. I forgot I went to Target, but I went to Target. I went to Lowe's. I didn't get anything out of Lowe's. And I went to Hobby Lobby and TJ Maxx. All right, so from Target, I got this brown vase. This is by Hearth and Hand. And I got it for the island. Um, yeah, I got this for the island. And everything that I'm showing in this haul, I'll have it linked down below. If I don't, let me know. I got some of this vanilla cashmere lotion. I bought this before and I absolutely loved it. So, bought some more. This is from Hobby Lobby. So, Travis Jr. is obsessed with basketball right now. And um, he's been loving basketball for years, so I feel like he's really just a basketball person. I love basketball, so yeah. Um, this is his favorite line. I'm not even going to tell y'all how he said it, but it says, let's go. So I bought this. It's a wall neon sign. And this will be in his room. And I got this caddy from TJ Maxx for the bathroom cleaning supplies. I also got some stuff for Christmas and um, I will not share the Christmas stuff because I think I wanna do a Christmas decor haul. I didn't get a chance to do a fall decor haul, maybe next year, but I want to do a Christmas decor haul. Hopefully we will have our things by then. I gave all the Christmas trees away, so I'm looking for a new Christmas tree. I saw one today at Hobby Lobby. I don't know if you know, but Christmas is on sale right now, 50% off at Hobby Lobby. This haul is not only just home decor, it's a mix of everything, clothes, all kinds of stuff. All right, so yeah, this is still Target. I got Landon, it's Landon or Lawrence, I think this is Lawrence. I got her some black pants and I got two pairs. They were on clearance. Yeah, they were on clearance, so I got two pairs. And then for Landon, I got him this black zip-up um, jacket, fleece jacket, and then some pants to go with it. This little shirt was on clearance for $1.80, so I just, I just picked this up. And then I also got Lauren these pants. They were on clearance too. These are a bit big. These are too big. These are size eight. Do you think these are size eight too? No, these are six seven. So she wears a six seven. Sometimes just a six. But yeah, these are a bit big for her. These are eight. So maybe next year. This jacket, the matching jacket, is a 10 12. And then I got myself this belt. This belt is it's almost like a felt texture, but I needed a belt. I have on a belt now that I got from the Goodwill. It's okay, but you know, you just can't wear brown belt everything. So yeah, this one is from Universal Thread. 
And for Lauren, I also got her this other sweatshirt. This is size A. This was clearance too. All right. This little cushion, they had this color and then they had another color, but of course one of them wasn't on sale. But this one was on sale for, I think $4. It's like a theme I'm going for in Lauren's room. Her new bedding is not like part of the theme. It was just $7 and it's just, it was just $7 and it, and I didn't buy it to like go with a theme or anything. I just bought it because it was $7, like I said. And if I'm washing some bedding, she'll have another set. So yeah, but the colors that I'm going for in Lauren's room are just pastel colors. Um, kind of like a groovy flower theme. Then they had these underwear for her for $2.50. Got two of those. Target also had 70% off of swimwear. So I grabbed this little top and to go with this. And this is this was five dollars, and this one was five dollars. And then I have lost so much weight, so much weight. I gained so much weight when I got here. Then when I moved in my house, I've lost so much weight. So now I am back down to a size eight. When I'm in a size eight, that's how I know I am way too little, too little. But I got some pants. These are Universal Thread. These are size eight. And these are 90s baggy. So that's probably why I can fit it too so well. It's baggy, but size eight, y'all. Size eight. Those are super, super, super cute on. Maybe I do like a little trial haul. Maybe, I don't know. These are size 31. These are Levi's. And these are baggy as well. And they fit really good. That's it for a lot. <laughs> All right, so also from Target, I got some plug-in wax warmers. Ebony sent me some wax melts and all of my wax warmers are in Germany. If I see a wax warmer that I like, I will get it, but I haven't really <clears throat> seen much of anything. So, But I saw these and they are really, really, really cute. And they were ten dollars so i grabbed two one for the front door and then probably one for the bathroom hopefully mr kobe don't get it yeah I, i'm not showing y'all because what's gonna happen i'm gonna break it i'm gonna break it and be mad just show y'all what it looks like on the box Yeah, that's what it looks like. This is TJ Maxx, so that is all of Target, I think. I think that's it from Target. If not, I'll just... All right, so TJ Maxx also has stuff on clearance. This is a cute little dress for Lauren. This can be spring, summer, or even fall with a white shirt underneath it, but she loves dresses, so this was on clearance for $6. And this is a size seven. Also got her this cute little pumpkin PJ set. This is a size six. I probably should have got, probably should have went up a size for her, but the pants just look so big. So yeah, and it's so soft. It's so soft and it comes with a matching scrunchie and I think this is like $10, yeah. Um, this was another little cute set that was on clearance. It came with a hat, which is so cute, and a little straw little bag. It's a skirt. This is summer, but this is too cute, and it was on clearance. I can find the tag. Yeah, it was ten dollars. So cute. I also got her this little Puma set for fall, and it was on clearance for ten dollars. I got myself this shirt. I don't know what it said. Yeah, it's nothing on there. It's just a nice little shirt I can throw on. Also got this shirt. Speaking, I miss my gray one that I had in Germany. Um, I got Landon some socks because all of his socks are ankle socks. And 
Starting to get a little cool outside in the mornings. Got Lauren another water bottle and land in some sweatpants. This boy, I really hope these pants fit him because every time I buy him pants, they're always too big for him. So we're gonna pray on these because he needs some more pants. But they're size eight ten. They have a drawstring, so they might be okay. And these are all from TJ Maxx. This is for Kobe. This is called um, Waterless Pet Wash. He be stink, y'all. I don't like it. <laughs> I just don't like the smell dog. Like, I just don't like that smell. <clears throat> He's over there having the time. <laughs> it's my bad. But anyways, from TJ Maxx, I also got some of these cups. What are these? Disposable coffee cups. My sister was asking about this the other day. I was like, girl, I don't got all that yet. So when I saw this, I picked it up. Yeah, it's cute. It says, do it today, not tomorrow. <laughs> Amen. Also got Lauren some bows and clips for her hair. This was so cute, y'all. <laughs> So cute. Like I was saying, this is so cute. I bought this for Travis Jr. It says it's a candle warmer, but can it be like a little table lamp? I just think it's the cutest thing ever. Like, that is so freaking cute. Like, how cute is that? And maybe he will venture off into candles. I doubt it. He's too young for that but how cute is that that is this is so cute for him it's like a little man adorable and this was twenty dollars from tj maxx kobe keeps distracting me all right um now let's go on to hobby lobby i also got this it says legends never die it's for the basketball thing so cute and this like i said hobby lobby I have been wanting a lamp for the countertops in the kitchen. And I've been looking everywhere. I looked Target, Marshalls, everywhere. Finally found one at um, Hobby Lobby. And it is so cute. Look how cute this is. It's, I wanted one very tiny, pretty. It's so cute. And it was 50% off. I got it for $14.99. And oh, it's just so cute. It is so cute, y'all. All right, so that's Christmas stuff. This is basketball stuff. So this is a piggy bank. It's just a basketball piggy bank. And too cute. This is $12.99. I was looking real hard in there too for kids stuff. And I guess when we figure out Landon's room and his theme, I can find some stuff in there. I know what I'm looking for, so I can start looking for stuff for him. I don't really have a theme for Landon just yet. The only one that I was thinking about doing for him would be Lego theme, but um, I'm still trying to put that together. I just so happened to see this basketball stuff today and stuff for Travis Jr.'s room, so that's why I have so much stuff for his room. This is some other little decor that I saw that I liked. Love the texture. This is a candlestick holder. It's um, really pretty, really cute. I got two of those and I also got this one. I don't even know what this is. It's just really cute. The texture on it is everything. It can be like a vase, I guess. It says gift on it. I, maybe they all say that, I don't know. But it was $7.99 and I wanna say it was 40% off. I know candle, that candle holder was 40% off. I also got some more coffee mugs. These are black. So now I have cream black and brown coffee mugs and I think I'm okay with that. That's That should be enough if I was to have company or something, unless one of them breaks. But that's that's enough i think i'm done on the coffee mugs but this is what this one looks like it's just a black coffee mug and it was 279 by the brand market square and i think 
that's it y'all everything else is christmas no i wasn't done okay so i got this from tj maxx for 40 dollars. i needed a plant stand so yeah but it was 40 dollars. it's nice and i'll just put it by the entryway then i also got travis jr this for his room Look how nice that is. I was looking on, I think Etsy for one. I forgot a few more stores and they were just way too expensive. I think this one was just $60, but the quality is there. I want to leave it this color, but maybe I should paint it black. Just paint, just paint this part and the middle part black and just leave that white, you know? Y'all let me know. Okay, this is from Stephanie. Stephanie sent, oh my goodness. Stephanie sent me some sheet pans and I <laughs> am in love, okay? Because I wanted them to be black. Because I just hate when they start looking burnt and crispy and crazy looking. I had light colors. I had light colors in Germany. And baby, them things. Be burning my stuff up around here. <laughs> so that's what it looked like. Thank you so much, Stephanie. I appreciate it. Oh. Okay. Alright, this is from Joanne. Thank you so much, Joanne. We have a Slow cooker. Thank you. I have a slow cooker in Germany, but we have had that slow cooker for days. Okay. We needed a new one. So I appreciate you, Joanne. Thank you. Let's see if we get this thing up out of here. All right. So this is the crock pot six quart thank you thank you thank you and it's like right on time for fall soups chili all of this stuff i got some few things the other day too these these are from miss gail she sent me some microfiber cleaning cloths thank you thank you thank you I'm trying to remember, did I already show those? I don't think so. And then she also sent me an ironing board. I have not had an ironing board in decades. I usually just iron on the bed or something, or the floor. So thank you. Thank you, Miss Gail. I appreciate you so much. Y'all know I've said it many times, but y'all just don't understand how you are helping me. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. If you would like to send something, the registry is down below. Um. That's it for right now. I have some laundry that I need to take care of because it's just everywhere. All the baskets, I have laundry that needs to be folded and put away. So I will be back a little later on. Once I get that together, I'm going to put all this other stuff up that I just bought and I'll be back. I don't know if you guys noticed, but I did move the couch closer this way. I had to take a picture of the fireplace to send it over to the people, um, the contractor, so we can figure this fireplace situation out. But yeah, that's why the couch looks like this. Y'all see how warm it is over here? Like the lighting is warm. We need to work on this. I don't want that lighting over here, so. We will be getting some light bulbs. Matter of fact, let me put that on my list. I don't know what's up with Landon, but he will just throw all of his socks over here. And it drives me insane. I am 
these cloths. Somebody sent them from my registry. And I don't know what made me put them on the registry, but they are so soft. Like extremely soft. But I'm just spraying this area down with some hydrogen peroxide cleaner. today get it out all right so this is a smart rice cooker I love rice I'll eat rice for anything I love 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 rice so this is what I got and this is from Joanne thank you thank you so much Joanne yeah, thank you. Oh my goodness. That's what I missed. Thank you. I've never had a rice cooker before. 
and I can't cook the rice to save my life, to be honest. Some, some days I do it good, some days it's still hard, some days it's too mushy. I'm tired of being stressed out about rice, so I put this on my registry because I just really wanted the rice cooker, but thank you. Thank you so much, and it looks so pretty. Thank you, Joanne. All right, y'all, so we got cauliflower rice and then a kale salad with some cucumbers, strawberries, onions, tomatoes, seasoning, and I think that's it. But this is what I'm about to eat for lunch. go to the grocery store this isn't everything some of the stuff is still in the bags over there but this is some of it so I have some jasmine rice Nutella oregano Parmesan ranch pinto beans and black beans ragu spaghetti sauce basil syrup beef and chicken noodles some razors vinegar red onion I have some broccoli some mushrooms two boxes of shrimp scampi some steakums two DiGiorno pizzas garlic bread go-gurts parmesan cheese french fries tater tots dog food veggie broth spaghetti noodles fettuccine noodles some cinnamon roll coffee cinnabon coffee peanut butter cookies peanut butter crackers Capri Sun, got some cough drops, some vitamin C gummies. Right, so this is the second half of the rest of the groceries. Got some nan bread for pizzas, some brioche bread for French toast, butter bread, slider buns, apples, grapes, spinach, cinnamon toast crunch, asparagus, um, romaine lettuce, avocado, green peppers, carrots, those are tomatoes back here, a Capri Sun, a coffee creamer, shrimp noodles, oranges, whipping cream. This is bacon, cucumbers, Swiss cheese, hot dogs, mozzarella cheese. This is, yep, yeah, mozzarella cheese, Dunkin' coffee, Welch's juice, some food coloring, um, Alfredo sauce. I got some meatballs, chicken breast, chips, a um, variety of deodorants, soap, exfoliating gloves, macaroni and cheese, granola bars, and some flour. And that's it for this grocery haul. I think this is around like 340-ish, I think. Cause we needed a lot of stuff. The fridge was like empty. And then got some spring water. Mm -hmm. 